Welcome to Cam's Corner where I am free. I saw the Lord and he answered me and he heard my cry and he heard me flee. What's up guys? Happy Friday. I'm back again with my next call. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell below. So that way you will be notified of the future uploads. Thank you know what's going on next with me um i'm gonna do hauls from different stores i'm gonna do some thrifting i'm gonna do some mukbangs um uh, slash seafood boils um it's a variety of things that i do here and um i just hope you just enjoy what you have seen so far and please Invite others to come and check my channel out and subscribe to my channel. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, whatever you do, just watch it and see what you like. And um, I welcome input, you know, um, just as long as it's, you know, within reason and not disrespectful and ungodly. Um, but yeah, just you're invited to invite other people to watch my videos. Um, in the beginning when I started, yeah, it was it was a mess, but um, I'm trying to get the hang of things and get more comfortable with it, so yeah, but right now I'm going to go ahead and do a Walgreens haul, and it's pretty much the same thing I got before. Um, I told you guys I was going to go back and get some more of the things that I wanted. I didn't get the um, paper plates, um, I do have them. I didn't get any more of the paper plates on this haul. Um, for 350, I just wanted to, I did test one out today. Um, for two for 350, um, I didn't get those, but I did go and get some cleaning items and um I got some coupons for this stuff but I just didn't use them I um I didn't take them in the store with me and I didn't want to go through the house of trying to go in and out of the store because you know how some people act when you go in and out of the store um when you're couponing so I didn't bother with that but I did get some clean items and let me share with you what I got. I got the Lysol mold and mildew foamer with bleach. I got two of these. They were buy one, get one free. So I think that was a great deal on that. And this is still behind me. This is still my, <coughs> excuse me, oh, <coughs> CVS stuff. <coughs> and I forgot to move it before I started the video. So what I'm going to do now is move it now, so that way it will not be in the way. Okay, the water bottles are falling out, but it's okay. Okay, let me get my receipt for this. While we're in town. Yeah. This is it. Okay. Um, yeah, and they were five forty nine a piece. So I got them buy one, get one free. So let me see how much they were a piece. These allergies are kicking in today. Okay, it's two seventy five a piece, so that's not that's not bad for that size. Because I mean, this is a big one. Um, sometimes a lot of times you get the the slimmer ones, but these are thirty two fluid ounces, so this is not bad for that. So yeah, buy one get one free, y'all. Yeah, I better go stack up. Tomorrow's the last day. Okay. And then I got these. 
he likes all disinfectant wipes. Um, you know, you need these on hands at all times because of germs and stuff. And it's just good to have around the house. So I got these. They were buy one, get one free. And they were also um, $5.49 each. And it's 80 in here. It's 80 in here. So that's not bad. So that's the same thing with that that price there. That's what two seventy five each for that. So that's that's definitely not bad for eighty in there. And then I went back and I told y'all I had to get me some more of the purets because I love the purets um, crystals, the ones that you put in your wash. I love these things. I love the smell of them. So I did go back and get me four more of these. Yep, four more of those. And that's the spring waters. And these are the lavender blossom and the fabulous fabulously. I, I listened to my video yesterday and I know I said it all wrong. Fabulously, fabulously fresh <laughs> um Purex crystals. And then, yeah, I know I had to get me some more of these. <laughs> the Organic Bites by Black Forest. Um, the Fruity Bites. I love the kind with the little juice in the middle, but I don't, I never see those at Walgreens when I get them. So I just got what I had, what they had. So. So yeah, so that is all I got. And guess what I paid for all of that? Can you guess what I paid? And you, of course I got my $1.99 um, coupon. And I want to do that deal a couple of more times, but you know, my son's with me. It's kind of hard to do what I want to do without him rushing and being ready to go, so. Okay, so I did use my points with that. Have you guessed yet how much I paid for that? You probably haven't. But anyhow, I paid $5.55 for all of this. All of this. Because I used my points. I didn't have any more of these to use today because I used them um, the other day. But I did get one back and then I'd say 49%, which is $23.26 on this. So I only paid, I used $20 in rewards and I only paid um, $5.55 for each, for all of these items. And that was almost, 49% is almost 50%. So, you know, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. So I did pretty good. Um, I'm learning how to rack these points up better. And I'm really like, I, I, I was watching when I first began, I started watching videos of people and what they would get in. They would say, you know, you would get this and you would get that to get this deal and get this many points or however. And I was trying to do it like that. And I'm like, I shouldn't do it like that. I should just do it on the deals that I want or need in my home because um, what I was going to do is like create little bundle deals and sell them. But people don't in my area don't support you like that. So I just said, you know, I'll just get the stuff that me and my son need in our household and um, just do it like that and just get deals like that and, and rack up points that way, like on the razors and because you're going to need razors, especially in the summertime. You're going to need razors and there's certain things that you're going to need that um, sometimes you can accumulate points with. And that's what I have narrowed it down to doing 
and not trying to do it exactly like the, the other couponers are doing it. Um, I'm learning a lot from them. I'm just trying to learn a way to where I don't have to do the deals exactly the way they do them to get the points, unless it's on something that we use or we need in our household. Simply because I came to that conclusion because when I was when I posted a few bundle deals, I got no reaction from no one. Um, like I said, people around here don't support you, um, but they expect you to support them in their endeavors, but they don't want to support support you. So, um, so I just the the bundle deal was a done deal for me. Um, so. I gave that up and what I'm going to do is what I said I was going to do is just um, buy certain things that I need. Like, let me show you, like the razor deal, do that razor deal um, and you get what $5 reward, which is 5,000 points. Do that deal and because you got to always need some razors, <laughs> you're going to always need that and then it's just other deals that they have in the store that, you know, you you end up um, getting um, rewards for. Like, if you had done the Nexus deal, bought $20 worth of Nexus products, you would have gotten um, 7,000 points. Like, deals like that. Like, you know you're going to use shampoo and hairspray and stuff like that. Um, and mouthwash, toothpaste, stuff like that, you know. And then with this um, Crest deal, if you bought four of those, you would get a $6 reward, um, register reward back on that. So, I mean, you know, you're going to use that. So, if you're doing those deals, guys, um, and you're just starting out, don't do like I did. Try to do deals on things that you actually need and, and want, or either if you're able to actually sell your bundle deals, um, you can buy, buy that other stuff and, and do bundle deals like that. So that way you can make that money back. But um, yeah, just be mindful of that. If it's just stuff you're accumulating that you really don't need or use. Um, yeah, just kind of wind it down to what you do need. So that way you won't be spending money um, on things that you don't need, even though you're getting points, but it's stuff that you don't need or um, you're not donating or whatever. So um, I just wanted to put that in there because I didn't, me being a beginner couponer, no one told me that. Um, but I did hear in some of the videos, um, that the ladies have put up, you know, they would tell you, um, you know, if you don't need it, don't buy it, you know, save your money. And that makes sense. So now that I know how to kind of do it better, I'm going to try to stay on this, the right track. Um, you kind of, if you take a break in between time, you kind of like will get off, off course and get off balance with what you're doing and, and how to do it and stuff. But once you get back on, like I took a break in February, the whole month of February and a little part of March. So I had to get back in the swing of things. So whenever you take a break, um, if you haven't been doing it for a long time and just got it down pat, um, it will, you will have to refresh on how to do it, so, um, and how the policies are, are in the stores and stuff, so, yeah, just take note of that, and just be mindful of, and if you have a problem like I do with my eyesight, um, I'm just gonna tell you now, <laughs> get you some of these from the Dollar Tree, or get you some, um, reading glasses, or whatever, so that way, um, or if you just wear glasses, make sure you, you're reading your coupons um correctly so that way you don't um be embarrassed <laughs> like i have been several times i have been because um i'm just like you know okay getting this coupon and getting that coupon and not really just focusing in on what it says and how many you have to get and what size products like if it's sparkle paper towel coupon it has to be like at least the three roll or the six roll or the eight roll for, you know, that coupon or whatever. Just pay attention to that. And a lot of times I do, but sometimes I don't and I mess up and then 
Um, it can be embarrassing, especially when you got a line behind you and you're giving the lady the wrong coupons for the wrong stuff. So just be mindful of that. And I'm trying to remember to wear my um, eyeglasses <laughs> inside the store with me while I'm doing these deals. So that way I could like get up because, um, you know, the little shelves, shelf um, tags that they have on there, sometimes it's hard for me to read them, even with my gla glasses on. So I have to get my son to, to you know, help me see. Um, it's hard for me to focus in because sometimes I wear the glasses, sometimes I won't. And then my eyes have a hard time refocusing. And it's just a whole lot going on with my eyes. So I'm trying to do better. But um, if you have that problem, make sure you got somebody to help you. Or got, you know what? And let me tell you what I bought me, just to let you know. This is something. <laughs> I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I probably, yeah, I probably need to look at it. Take it with me to look at my stuff um, and read the fine print that I can't read, especially if my son is not with me, because it does help. This magnifying glasses. I bought this, like, way last year sometime, maybe the year before, and it's just been sitting on my desk. Um, but, yeah. Get you one of these. If you have a hard time seeing stuff, have these plus these. This. Let me see what I if I can see it. Like I'm having a hard time focusing with that without my glasses. So I'm gonna put them back on. But anyway, anything that's gonna help you see and help you know what you're doing with these coupons and stuff. Um, and I'm just gonna show you what I paid for everything. I had the um I had the um twenty dollar reward the twenty dollar reward and I paid the five fifty five so for all of that stuff only five fifty five and I also got a um a coupon back for one ninety nine so yeah. I think that was pretty good. And I think I might do a couple more of these deals because, I mean, if you pay $1.99 and you get $1.99 back, you're only paying a few cents because, you know, um, it's not like it's free because you have to pay the taxes on it. So it's not completely free, but just paying the taxes on it is not bad. So And then being able to get this and being able to shop with this on something else, it's not a bad deal. So... <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm liking Walgreens a whole lot more now. Even though I have my hard times, I'm liking it a little bit more. So, guys, please have a safe weekend. Um, please keep your kids covered in prayer, yourself and your family members. Um, there's a lot going on in this world, and we just need to be armored with the word of God. Armored. Pleading the blood of Jesus over everything that we own, <laughs> everything that we have. Um, plead the blood of Jesus and, and and pray that he just covers us morning and night. Um, and I'm going to end this video right now because I don't want to hold you up. It is a weekend, baby. So you enjoy your weekend. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. God loves you and I do too. And there's nothing you can do about it. 